Happy 500th day of the Trump presidency. Woo! Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, you guys feel it. Ooh, 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 it feels good, you know? It's true what they say about time when you're having fun. It slows to an invigorating crawl. <laughs> Trump has accomplished so much in his first 500 days, or as Kellyanne likes to call it, the 500 days of American greatness. <laughs> well, usually, presidents get measured on their first 100 days, but a great man like Trump takes five times as long to show just how great he is. <laughs> I wish I could go over all of our president's incredible wins. Things like teaching Boy Scouts about yacht orgies, or increasing Frederick Douglass awareness, <laughs> making Jake Tapper say shithole. So many good things. <laughs> but there's simply not enough time. So we're setting up a Trump accomplishment ticker to remind you of all the history Trump has made in only 500 days. But right now, we want to focus on Trump's latest distinction. In a letter leaked to the New York Times this weekend, we learned that the president's legal team believes that Trump can't obstruct justice because he's president. And it makes sense. How can Trump obstruct justice when he is justice? <laughs> that would be like Bruno Mars obstructing charisma. <laughs> Does make sense. Just take it from Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, a man whose legal mind is so expansive, it's constantly pushing his eyeballs out of his skull. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, Rudy went on TV to explain why this whole witch hunt has treated Trump very unfairly. He believes he's telling the truth. He is telling the truth. For every one of these things he did, we can write out five reasons why he did it. If four of them are completely innocent, and one of them is your assumption that it's a guilty motive, which the president would deny, I, you, can't, you can't possibly prosecute him. Yeah. Great point, Rudy. That's how you know Trump is telling the truth, because he has four versions of it. He's, he's the Rashomon of alibis. Anyway, not only can Trump not obstruct justice, even if he did, the president can't be indicted. As Rudy told the Huffington Post that same day, President Trump couldn't even be indicted for murder, which is an incredibly normal thing to say if you're the lawyer of a man whose wife hadn't been seen in 24 days. <laughs> Totally normal. That's fine. Moving on. Moving on. But opposers, even if Trump were indicted, he'd still be fine. Because just this morning, Trump heroically tweeted that he has the absolute right to pardon himself. Trump has elevated the office of the presidency so high that it's currently located above the law. <laughs> so, just to catch you up, here's where we're at. Donald Trump is innocent. Hashtag no collusion. Hashtag no obstruction. Donald Trump didn't do anything. But <laughs> if he did do something, it is so not a crime. <laughs> but if it is a crime, he cannot be indicted. And if he were indicted, <laughs> he can pardon himself. Now. Loser libs might call this moving the goalposts, but they couldn't be more wrong. Trump isn't moving the goalposts. That implies he only has one way to win. He's adding new goalposts. <laughs> Dragging out a soccer goal and a basketball hoop and a ski ball alley and an Olympic half pipe and a Quidditch lane. <laughs> Whoa! Good luck finding the snitch, Muller. <laughs> oh, you found three? Well, guess what? There's eight. Now, some in the mainstream are skeptical that Trump has the power to pardon himself. The idea of Trump pardoning himself, I think, is uh, completely ridiculous. I have pretty severe Ooh. doubts about whether somebody could pardon themselves. No president in history has ever been brazen enough actually to try it. I got news. Brazen enough to actually try it was Trump's other campaign slogan. <laughs> To weigh in on these complex legal issues is citizen journalist Kobe LeBay. Kobe, yes. I'll ask you the question everyone's dying to know. Can the president pardon himself? It's difficult, Jordan. Some people say it's physically impossible to pardon yourself. 
They say the president doesn't have the legal flexibility to bend forward, wrap his lips around his own pardon decree, and get himself off. And to be fair, no president has tried. Yeah, no. You know, a guy at my high school claimed he could pardon himself, but everyone said he would have to have a rib removed so that he could do it. But that, yeah, that rib thing's an urban legend, Jordan. Self-pardoning is really just about finding the right angle, legally speaking. <laughs> and trust me, self-pardoning feels amazing. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great when other people pardon you, but <laughs> nothing beats closing the door, looking down at your rock hard criminal record, and just pardoning yourself dry. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, but, all right, but answer me this what about all the eggheads who say self pardoning is unnatural or gross or a Disgusting perversion of the law. Oh, did Jordan, please. L let's be honest. Most presidents have at least thought about pardoning themselves. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't? Can you honestly say that you, Jordan Klepper, when no one else was home, never once tried to pardon yourself? No, okay, no. <laughs> I tried once, yes. Exactly! Yes. 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 Yeah. And Trump's like all of us. The only difference is he's not ashamed to talk about it. And really, there's nothing gross about self-pardoning. I mean, sure, giving a pardon, it takes a lot of work, but you're also getting pardoned, which feels awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've outlined it here in this legal diagram. <laughs> here's President Trump, the head of state, and here's his pardon power, his raging pardon. <laughs> Represented by this sideways and upside down letter P. Oh, yeah, of course. And uh, here you see the, the constitutional spine, which has more than enough legal flexibility for the president to pardon himself, as you can see. Okay, come on. All right, so just, just trust me, the Constitution definitely allows for this. You just have to kind of okay. stretch it out a little. Uh, yeah, just... yeah, you know, uh, sorry, it's harder than it looks. Okay, yeah. Uh, wait, so you. You're not worried a move like this could snap the, the country in half? Well, of course not. I mean, sure, admittedly, when the president pardons himself, there might be a big, sticky political mess to clean up afterwards, but that's, that's something the president has to be prepared to swallow. Yes. Very... Very clear explanation with no subtext whatsoever. Kobe Labee, everyone. The fight continues.